guys, Shiny here, back again with another Oculus Quest video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can sideload on the Oculus Quest. Now obviously sideloading has been out for a while now, and when I usually talk about sideloading, I usually link a tutorial by Virtual Reality Oasis. But that tutorial was made almost a year ago, and since that tutorial was made, Sideloading and side quests has come a very long way. So I thought I'd make an updated 2020 version of how to sideload on the Oculus Quest. For those of you who don't know, sideloading is a way to take advantage of the Oculus Quest Android operating system by sideloading third-party games and apps onto the Oculus Quest. This can be used to get alphas, demos, pre-releases, and games that were denied from the Oculus Store on your Quest, as well as do a plethora of other things such as my how to increase the resolution of the Oculus Quest tutorial, my custom environments Oculus Quest tutorial, and more. Now you guys know what it is, let's get into it. So what you need are obviously an Oculus Quest, a computer, now this can be either Mac, Windows, or Linux, and does not have to be a gaming computer. This can be any run-of-the-mill laptop, as long as it can run a non-intensive program. Lastly, you need a cable. Now, since the Quest charger is Type-C, you're going to need a USB Type-C to Type-A cable, or if your computer has a USB Type-C port in it, you can just use the standard Quest charger. Now that we have everything we need, let's go on to the first step. Step number one is to enable developer mode on your Oculus account. And this can be done by clicking the link in the description and logging into your Oculus account. Then click Create New Organization and name it whatever you want. Then agree to the Terms of Service and click Submit. Then navigate to the Oculus app, go to Settings, make sure your headset is connected, click on your headset, click More Settings, Developer Mode, and click the box. Now you have Developer Mode set up on the Oculus Quest. Step 2 is for Windows only, so if you have a Mac or Linux, you have a great computer. Congrats, skip to Step 3. But for Windows, you guys will need to enable ADB, which will allow your computer to communicate with the Quest. Now, the way to do this is to go to the description and download the files, then extract them and open the extracted file. Finally, right-click on Android WinUSB INF and click Install. When you're prompted to, restart your computer. Step 3 is to connect the headset to your computer. This can be done by plugging in your cable to your PC and then the other side of the cable to your Quest. Now, if this is your first time connecting your Quest to your PC, you will need to accept the message that pops up on your Quest that says allow USB debugging. Now, this is your computer. You can just click always allow this computer, which will prevent the message from ever showing up again, and then just click allow. There you go. Your Quest is now connected. Step number four is to download SideQuest. This can be done by also clicking the link in the description and following the steps to downloading SideQuest, which are really easy. It's just downloading an application. Then you can open SideQuest, and if you see the little green bar next to connected, that means that your Quest is connected and ready to go. Now, since SideQuest has changed a lot since other tutorials, I'm going to give a quick run on how SideQuest works and what it looks like and all that jazz. Hi, Future Jack here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the updated SideQuest tour. Now here we have games that are either updated or new that are looking pretty good and getting some traction. See, so made a day ago. Then we have the staff picks, hot and fresh, which is games that are new and also very good and gaining traction. We have most popular, we have latest releases, and then we have some other categories like fitness and FPS. Now if we go to browse, we have all the games here with some filters. So we can have hot and fresh, fitness, free, Quest, whatever you want. Now, if we go up here, we can actually access a web browser so we can download, you know, stuff off the internet onto our Quest. We can actually do live streams like streams, and I use these for live streaming, and these are very low latency and awesome. We can connect our Quest wirelessly so we don't need a cable to sideload. This is where you will install all the apps. This is where you can see all the files on your headset. This is all the games on your headset. And you can even show all the Android stuff there as well. 
this is some pretty cool tools um, like game settings as well as guardian and you know basically everything you can do without that this is the task manager so if you guys want to you know see whether a game is downloading or whatever you can go ahead and do that uh, you can run ADB commands here you know such as list devices and there you go you can open the debugger and this will show you the HTML you know view of everything that's always cool for you coders out there and yeah that is there you just go here and there you go back you know in the main menu and yeah that is basically a pretty quick rundown of side quest and uh, how it looks. Step five is to install games. Now, if you want to install games such as Hyperdash, just click on it, then click install latest. It will then say that it's installing and it will tell you that it installed the app. If you want further detail on it, you can just go to the task manager at the top right to see more detail on the tasks. And there you go, you now have side loading set up on the Oculus Quest and are able to do so many new things with side loading that you would never be able to do before. I think that SideQuest is just an amazing and a beautiful software, so definitely go make sure to check them out and check out HyperDash as well for being an awesome game. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, anything you want to say. Follow me on all my social media, support the Patreon, join the Discord, follow me on Twitch as I live stream there. And as always, guys, stay quest.